I'd like to invite our next speaker, who I had the pleasure of interviewing this morning and reading his new book, Medical Cannabis, The Way Forward for Healthcare Practitioners. If you haven't read it, you gotta read it. It's a good guide. He's a great man. And his name, Henry Lowe, is synonymous with what? Groundbreaking research. I mean, I buy his products and I ship it all over the world to people who are suffering from cancer, to my dad in Australia, and I absolutely love what he is doing with the establishment of Medican JA. We admire him here in Jamaica for his groundbreaking discoveries. He's helped to put Jamaica's scientific research on the map. He also happens to be the proprietor of this lovely venue where we are here tonight, Dr. Henry Lowe, Chairman and CEO of R&D Commercial Holdings Limited. Dr. Lowe. Thank you very, very much, MC. Distinguished colleagues, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, of course, our ministers, and I see an old friend of mine here uh, called Seawright. I don't know what his first name is. He's here. And of course, our, our guest of honor, and guest and other guests as well as the man of the evening is here. I And this is where I would like to focus for about two minutes just to say something about Steve. I didn't know Steve before three years ago or is it two years ago? It doesn't matter. But the fact of the matter is that Steve walked into my office, made an appointment and he said, you know, I want to be involved in this cannabis industry. It's going to take a day and a year for me to get involved because I know the slow pace of the CLA. But since you are out in front, I want to jump on your horse and ride with you into the future. And um, what I found very interesting about Steve's approach was that he was a committed foreign Jamaican. Uh, he said he didn't want to be regarded as diaspora, but really a Jamaican living in Canada. But he wanted to bring whatever expertise and money that he could to invest in Jamaica. And he felt that the investment in the cannabis industry, and by the way, I don't know, um, our minister, I heard him use the three terms, ganja, marijuana, and cannabis. And minister who used to be my neighbor. Sorry, I used to be minister's neighbor at one time. I'm not saying that I saw him doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> but for what it's worth, um, I would like to commend to everybody here. Let us stop using the name Marwan. Marwan is negative. It's degrading to um, minorities and black people and every time I get an opportunity say just go online and read why it's called marijuana I won't even have to educate you on that cannabis is a technical name and it's the accepted name globally and we can use our own name ganja which is all about us so I'm just if I leave nothing else with you tonight is to ask you to stop saying marijuana it's the American name it's I hope I won't offend any white Americans here. <laughs> so that's what I would like to leave with you. But um, I, I would like to, maybe for a couple of minutes, just give you some thoughts that I have on, on this business. Um, some of you may know, and in fact, the uh, minister graciously acknowledged my contribution to the cannabis industry. And I didn't go, in fact, up to this day, I don't have a gross license because my own thing was I wanted to get into the scientific and technological input for growth. And why do I say this? My own view, and it's being borne out now, they, everybody's into the oils and into the crude extracts. And as countries liberalize cannabis more and more, there won't be any money in that. 
everybody will grow there a little bit, everybody will extract and it, it won't be a business as such. So unless you move to the higher level, what do I mean the higher level? You apply science and technology to isolate the bioactive molecules and make nutraceuticals and pharmaceuticals, you will soon be out of the business. I do hear that um, opportunities are there for export to Canada. It might well be so, and they are short. But you know what's happening? And I was so happy to hear the minister. This is why he's my favorite minister, you know, Alas, I don't see him very often, but um, he speaks the truth and he tells you what's going on. You disagree? Well, <clears throat> fact of the matter is, for tonight anyway, he did. He spoke about an issue which we all have to face up to, which is a banking problem. And let me, I, I, I don't want to be political tonight or to stray from my key point, but let me tell you this. We, Medicanja, is the first company let me say you guys shut him up. <laughs> Medicantra is the first company in Jamaica, in the Caribbean, and in the developing world to take to have taken the bold step to go to IPO, to the stock market. It is only Canada and Australia and uh, Germany which is now doing that. And and of course the United States. A lot of people don't know that cannabis is on the stock market in the United States. But they have found ways around, the governments have found ways and states have found ways around the issue. And this is why they can go to the stock market. Now I've been ready from last year trying to go to the stock market and every time I think I'm there a banking issue comes up. And right now you can't move. I promise I don't need, I don't need the banks if I didn't have a plan. And my plan is to let every Jamaican who can't be involved in the cannabis industry get a piece of the action, so to speak. So this is why I look at IPO and I want to go there. But if that shut down, we're going to shut down all the opportunities for the little Jamaican, which the minister spoke about, who wants to be involved. This is his opportunity and it won't happen. I, 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 I have right now enough private placement that I can go. I don't need the IPO. So it's there for the little man and the people of Jamaica. So they are being shut out. So unless we find an answer fairly quickly, then that will be lost. All the, I, and I say again, um, the minister graciously mentioned the discovery of the orphan drug, which the FDA, the FDA and the National Institute of Health approved. And in Jamaica, I cannot get a dollar to borrow from the bank to move the research any further. And nobody is interested because we are buying and selling country. And let me just point out, one of these drug products that have been isolated and developed could give Jamaica 1.2 to 1.8 billion dollars a year. Hmm. That's the sort of magnitude we're talking about. I don't think we understand, and yet there's no support. What, what I think I'm really doing is building on what the minister said, that opportunities are there, great opportunities, but we don't have the prepared mind, and we don't want to be involved. It's the easy road. But I personally feel Jamaica, Jamaica's missed the part of the boat, as it were. In other words, the boat has set sail, and we are using canoes now to catch up, to climb on board. It's as bad as that. And if we don't move faster, Jamaica is out. With, because most of the investments coming into cannabis now is for growing and export. And by the way, I don't know if many of us know, the UK, the same Great Britain, Britain that we know of, they are the largest exporters of cannabis today. If you doubt me, go check it out. You see, a lot of things are happening quietly and we're not aware. The they, um, uh, United States, as I said, has got a whole lot going for it. Australia is now liberalized, although they have done it quietly. And Portugal has 
all of Europe. I don't know if you know that last uh, four months ago, Germany has now gone into medical cannabis. The whole of Europe, for that matter, is in there. What are we waiting on? I, you know, we, we have to wake up and be creative and innovative of, and find a way. So my message here tonight, and I'll finish now, is just to say that we have to support people like Steve. Um, I think there's enough out there for many persons. Somebody asked me, why are you coming out to speak at Steve's thing and support it? My view is, we have to support each other. There's enough there for all of us. So let us cooperate, let us think big, let us be innovative. And I think, unless all of us in this audience and our friends and relatives ensure that there's a groundswell for the future, and we need to also speak to the negatives because a lot of people in my age group, what's my age group? Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm proud to say it, so that's okay. A lot of people in my age group still have the negatives about cannabis because they can only remember what happened to little Johnny down the road and so on. It's negative, and we have to educate people to understand that where we are going now, at least where I am going and my group of companies, is that we are trying to create a future based on science and technology. I, I can say without anybody um, proving me wrong that we are in the same class as Israel, GW Pharmaceuticals, and some and some companies in Australia that are doing research and develop. We are not just third world, no, we are there. We, in fact, this approval with um, the orphan drug is above and beyond anything else anybody has done. We don't realize how big that thing is, you know. We, we just say it and accept it. We don't realize. We need to support ourselves and move on. And finally, I want to say here, uh, the Minister of Tourism, has been pushing health and wellness tourism. I'm the chairman of that section of the thrust for enhancing and broadening uh, tourism. That in itself is a multi-billion dollar business. When I set up Eden Gardens, it was for this purpose. And I am committed to work with the Minister of Tourism to make sure this goes on. Just last, just last week, Two of the brightest young Jamaicans came to see me, two road scholars. They are physicians. One has done his PhD and one is MBA. They came in and they said, we want to join you. You're going to hear more about this. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Dr. Lowe. Cannabis, and what's the other word? Ganja. He's made us aware. He's charged us that we have work to do. We need to meet with the banks. We need to get our finances right. You have to leave, Minister of Us. Oh, you're a busy man. Well, I'm glad you're building our economy and wealth with all these functions. Have a great one, sir. And we'll see you in Portland with chronic relief. Oh, yes, okay. We'll see you there, too.